if you're playing in a more uniform stadium that compares to Hodgetown like Springfield? Well, you don't know if you're going to play in the final, and the worst thing you could do is overlook San Antonio. They are a really, really talented team. Saudis against the Frisco Rough Riders. Game three coming up next on 102.9, the Panhandle Sports Star. You, men, Lynn. Stepping up the pad with the boot cap crabs. Tied a franchise high. You need better than that tonight, and you, Lynn, is just the man to give it to you. Coming off of another quality start against Arkansas on September 8th. Got a win, six innings, four hits, and earned run, four walks, and three strikeouts. Looking for a repeat performance against a Frisco Rough Riders order that caused some trouble against Amarillo last night. It's our opponent lineup brought to you by Prestigious Pools. Yeah, pretty much it's been wide on the year, three home runs. And 14 runs batted in. The first pitch has popped up. Shallow right. Tawa on the run and a basket catch right on top of the line. 6.40 p.m., 74 degrees. One pitch, one out for Yumin Lin. Far the rest of the season for Frisco. Wyatt Langford who takes homers. A one in his starts. 0-2. Oh and that's a weak fly ball into shallow left center. Caleb Roberts will let it drop, play it off of his bare hand, and Langford. Took a long turn around first, but will have another hit against Amarillo in this series. Be a valuable player at Globe Life Field sooner rather than. A one. And it pops off of Centeno's mask. Must have hit Liam Hicks. And then the ricochet got Centeno in a bad spot, but he's okay. Now runners on first and second with just one out. And Kellen Strom, the cleanup hitter, coming up. Yeah, you've been at times this season. As you can see right there, it brushed Hicks on his front right shoulder. Davison now playing the line against the righty Strom, who is swinging. And the next pitch is a slider that's Lynn eyes Langford at second and pitches. It's a weak ground ball down the third base line, but Davison will let it roll foul. I think Kellen would tell you this is a bit of a down year for him. 0-2. From not coming off the bench anymore. And a 1-2 curveball strikes out Kellen Strom. First strikeout for you. It was better than where Senti wanted it to go. Lefty Aaron Zavala up. He swings the 0-1. Told. 1-1. Fouled away. Battle. 1-2. 2-2. 3-2. Runners were going. When that swing's good, it's as good as anyone. Payoff pitch, he takes it for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts looking for Yu Min Lin to deal against Kellen Strom and Aaron Zavala. He strands two on the bases, and it's a clean inning brought to you by Classic Cleaning. We'll go to the bottom of the first, where we'll see the Saudis bats. 255 average, and he will swing at the 0-1. Oh, 1-1. One. One, one. Yumin lost control. The guy that was the first baseman for Amarillo this year. 2-1 on the ground. Towel goes to his backhand, bobbles for a second. The throw to first is going to be late. And another error committed by Amarillo. That's their sixth over these last two games. First beer holds him on. Chavez weakly grounds it to third. Davison to his left, throws to second quickly. Towel to first. And they got him this time. Five to four to three double play. Season long for Frisco. Batting righty and taking... He saw Tristan in left. 1-0. All the way to the backstop on a slider. Two balls on some people's radars. 2-0. And a ground ball up the middle. It's past Yu Min Lin's glove. And a throw to first is in time. So another 1-2-3 inning for the Saab Poodles starting pitching. They've had a lot in this series. Yu Min Lin's first of the game. Two up beginning with Scott Capers, the catcher tonight. The 1-0 pitch is a strike with a fast. The e-waste that we take care of, your computers, your hard drives, your cell phones. 1-1 one, one popped up. Centeno will give chase, but give up at the warning track. Okay, from 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. Just drop it off. Just bring it by the box. We, we just charge by the box. 2-2 two, two, swing and miss. Yu Min Lin has his first. Muff London Bixel of document shredding and storage. So what happens to we We recycle. Uh, Tons, toilet paper, all that kind of fun stuff. 1-0, rip down the third base line. That'll get into the corner, kick off the corner. Roberts up with it. He might have a play at second. Tawa off the bag, applies the tag, but Rodriguez slides in safely. So that they're not making individual decisions. Third. 
human slings. Just store boxes full of information. Easy too. It seems like a, a very streamlined process that you guys have over there. Chain. Out of the stretch, human will step off, swing his hips towards second. Tawa will walk to the bag, but no throw will come behind the runner. No score in game three. Langford, the number four overall draft pick from this year here at Double A with an RBI chance. 3 1. He is low and he walks. Yet another game for Langford where he's reached base multiple times. It'll bring up Liam Hicks, who's also been hotter than this Amarillo. Nine doubles, a triple, a home run, and 23 runs batted in. Yumin goes inside with gets the two games at their home ballpark. There's a fastball. We want to relive that first year. Nothing quite like 2019. I wasn't here, but all the story at second. Yumin will kick and deal the 1-1. It gets out of Centeno's glove to the backstop. Both runners move up 90 feet. Taking a big turnaround third was Caber Rodriguez. Centeno got to it slowly, knowing 2-1. Hicks swings and misses. Centeno throws behind the runner at third, and he got him again. How many times has Centeno made that play? 7-13 is too early for nap time, and Juan Centeno caught Rodriguez with a blanket and a pillow. Yumin Lin, the 2-2, is right there for strike three, and Hicks is down on strikes. I won't be here on Tuesday, but I'll be listening in. Pitch number one is maybe they'll be enjoying some Penelope Bourbon, the 0-1, check swing. Couldn't hold up, there's strike two. Everyone, we have uh, 80 proof, I call that one my poolside zipper. Architect. 0-2, oh, Strom bounces it right side, Tawa gets his feet underneath him, moves two steps to his left, handles the heat on the ground, and throws out Kellen Strom for the first out of the inning. Great. is my favorite, the brand new toasted rye is my absolute favorite, uh, but you can't go wrong with our flagship, the 80 proof for the girls. Human Lynn's first pitch to Josh Hatcher. Another ground ball, Tim Tawa charges, gloves, underhand flip, didn't even have to put it in his hand. JD will have you continue on at the bottom of the fourth. We'll be cotton candy this weekend. Of course, you go to the Tri-State Fair, a one. Fly ball, left center. And Vukovic in the gap makes the catch on the run. One down, off game here at Zapital's home. The 1-0. 1-1. One, one. And he does that, a changeup, as I've seen you men at home over his last couple starts. 1-2, and he gets another strikeout. Five strikeouts for Yumin Lin. Steph and the lion chair have been looking four of five. Just see that curveball snap off the inside corner. Yumin, it's incredible. Scott Capers up. And a breaking ball, 32. The 0-1 is a strike. Divisional round, 0-2. Curveball away, a ball at two strike. Springfield, it's going to be a great series. 1-2. Tabulary sometimes, 2-2. Two, two. And Human Lin gets another strikeout. Swinging strikeout, a six strikeout game. Another 1-2-3 inning for Human Lin. And we'll go to the bottom of the fifth with no score out in this game and the pitch the 1 0 stretch pitch there's a chap before his pitch Rodriguez down the third baseline on one hop Davison gets it low throw but beer to his backhand he's able to go down low and make the catch with it's worked so far pitch to Langford is at their normal positioning a one Mile high, fly ball to shallow right. In comes Castillo, and he will make the catch, having final say over Tim Tower, who moved back. Pitch to Hicks on a delayed delivery. 1-0. 2-0. The 3-0 pitch. Ball four. Just Yuman Lin's second walk of the game. That will extend the inning for Kellen Strom. Zavala and Hatcher. Thinning. Davison on top of the line, and the 1-1 is a hook for a strike. 1-2. 
all the way to the backstop. A wild pitch will move Hicks up to second base. The back foot breaking ball. Centeno couldn't keep it in front. 2-2 stretch pitch. Payoff pitch. Lynn will have to face another hitter. Back-to-back -back walks, and Aaron Zavala will come up. Lynn eyes the runner at second and pitches home. Three so far, 1-0. That's a ground ball to second base. Tower there, throws to first, and Yumin Lin has now qualified for not only a win, but a quality start again. Field playing to pull. De Los Santos in shallow as Hatcher drivers. 0-1. Then out of a slow windup, delayed delivery 0-2. Second, couldn't score him, 1-2. And there's strike three. Human Lin blows it by him with 88. And Hatcher struck out for the first time in his game. That's the seventh strikeout for Human Lin. What's more impressive is count how many times he's caught guys looking. Five looking strikeouts as compared to two swinging. Very deceptive stuff. Ranger Chavez, the switch hitter, will bat right handed again. And take strike one. The 0 1. Here's a changeup low and outside. One ball and one strike. 1 1. Bouncing ball to Beer. He handles the hop. And steps on first. Great play by Seth Beer. Used his body to block that baseball. Chris Cease comes up. He's 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout look. Lins 1-0. 2-0. Line drive foul. Cease jumped all over that pitch. 2-1. It was later on that. 2-2. Jimmy's got his juice here in game three. Human Lin. Eight strikeouts. He's matched his strikeout total the first time he pitched against Frisco. Seven shutout innings. We go into the seventh inning stretch. Brought to you by the Northwest Texas Healthcare. I have a new milestone and already a magical season for Human Lin. Long and running out of time, partner. Still see the Saab Poodles in some great games. Friday, Saturday, a great candidate for six out save. And a four pitch walk will put Scott Capers on first. Not exactly how Human wanted to start. The top of the order will come up, and Sean Roof has a decision to make. Do you leave Human Lin in, let him clean up this mess, or to bring Christian Montez de Oca to face the righty here? He'll do. That's five straight balls. Low and in slider, 1 0. Tying run at the plate. 2 0, the Saudis lead in the top of the eighth inning. To him in a moment. Pitch away. 2 0. Three balls and no strikes. Was it Triple A? Now here with Frisco working on some things. 3 1. Ground ball too short. That'll get through the hole and out to left. Base hit. Just the third of the game. So now Sean Roof will pull Yu Min Lin. Runners on first and second and nobody out. He couldn't set a career high, but seven scoreless innings. This crowd is going to give him a well-deserved applause. Final start of the regular season for Yu Min Lin. He's done tremendous work. He'll get some congratulations from Sean Roof and the crowd. We'll greet him and thank him for his contributions in this second half push. We'll step aside as Christian Montez.